Ano ang mga substances na ito? Kung lalagyan natin ng label, ano kaya ang i-consider mo para ma-identify ang mga ito? Scientists think that it isn't a good idea to classify matter by its phases, as well as using the physical characteristics such as color. If you are a scientist, how would you classify things? In this video, we're going to study how matter is described, classified, and separated. Alam natin na kapag sinabing matter, ito ay uh, anything that has mass at nag-occupy ng space at ito ay composed din ng atoms, molecules, at ions. Ang matter ay divided into different states. Ano yung apat na yun? Solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Uh, sa mula umpisa, ang mga scientists ay humanap na ng paraan para mag-group ang matter sa pamamagitan ng pagtingin ng mga observable characteristics ng mga ito. At nag na i-divide ang uh, matter into two main divisions, namely physical and chemical properties. Physical property can be observed and or measured without changing the identity of the matter. It is further subdivided into extensive and intensive properties. Extensive properties are characteristics that depend on the amount of matter present. Example na mga extensive properties ay mass, weight, volume, length at density. Ang intensive properties naman ay hindi nakadepende sa amount of matter present. Ang ibig sabihin nito, kahit na bawasan o dagdagan ang amount ng sample, ang intensive properties nito ay mananatiling magkapareho. Ang mga intensive properties ay ang um, color and odor, freezing and boiling point, malleability, ductility, solubility, and thermal conductivity. Ang example ay ang copper wire. Kung ang copper wire ay mayroong electrical conductivity and you cut off the small end of the the copper wire and so ang kung ang pag-usapan na intensive property nito na electrical conductivity the small part of the wire will would have the same conductivity as the entire long roll of wire so ang ibig sabihin nito yung conductivity ay property ng copper metal, metal itself at hindi ng length ng wire Chemical property describes a substance based on its ability to change into a new substance with different properties such as combustibility, a measure of how easily a substance bursts into flames through fire. Flammability, ability of chemical to burn or ignite causing fire or combustion. Reactivity, the rate at which a chemical substance tends to undergo a chemical reaction. Example, acids, bases, oxidation, reduction. Let us answer this activity. Cutting paper, is this physical or chemical change? What property of matter is mainly involved in the change? Cutting paper is an example of a physical change in the property of matter that is involved is length. Example number two, metal rusting. 
Is this physical or chemical change? What property of matter is mainly involved in the change? Sa metal rusting, ito ay chemical change at ang um, property of matter that is involved is reactivity. Rapid burning of wood. Is this physical or chemical change? What property of matter is involved in the change? The answer is chemical change and the property of matter that is involved is combustibility. Number four, sugar dissolving in tea. Physical or chemical change? What property of matter is mainly involved? The answer is physical change. And the property of matter that is uh, mainly involved is solubility. Matter can also be classified depending on their components in molecular level. Here is our concept map. Matter can be divided into a pure substance in the mixture. Pure substance has definite composition in which it can either be an element, molecule, or a compound. Mixtures are not pure substances, and it is made up of two or more substances that are not chemically bonded. There are two types of mixtures. Heterogeneous mixture, considered as the least mixed because it does not appear the same throughout, and the particles are large enough to be seen and separated easily. While homogeneous mixture is known as the well mix as it appears the same throughout and the particles are not easily recognizable. There are also subtypes of mixtures that people encounter daily. These are In a mixture, each substance has its own identity, thus using their different physical and chemical properties, separating any type of mixture is possible. There are several common techniques that has been widely used across the world. Number 1. Mechanical separation 2. Magnetic separation 3. Filtration 4. Decanting 5. Distillation 6. Evaporation 7. Density separation 8. Centrifuge 9. Paper chromatography and 10. Fractional crystallization Let's do another activity. What are the separation techniques depicted in each picture? 